And this is another Jeff Blackie production. <laughs> well, well, well. Today we're going to do a whole bunch of video games. Reviews. And these games are all old, PlayStation 4. These are old games. The first one. Noom Bungas Ambition. Spear of Influence Ascension, Japanese game. Um, rated for teen. I played it for roughly about four or five hours. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. Couldn't understand it. Basically, you have to build your cell, your civilization, build it up. When you got your neighbors who are attacking you or doing whatever, doing raids on all your on all your fields and your cities and stuff. One star. One star. Seems a piece of crap. Bought it used. Number two. <laughs> Wolvenstein. The New Order. This is an old game. Bought it used again for $15. Um, played it all the way through. It was okay. It was, it was not too bad, you know. Um, it's got a bunch of nutsies in it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and all that other bullshit. Uh, they could have put the Red Skull in here. It would have been cool if they had the Red Skull, but they didn't. But Wolfenstein, uh, the New Order. You know what? I did not like it as much as I liked the previous Wolfenstein game. Um, it's not really too hard, but um, you got to have those crazy fingers and thumbs again. It came with all the codes. It came with all the little neat stuff inside it. Dude, it even had the Doom Beta with an access code. Wow. Uh, picked it up for, I believe, this also was for like $15, bought it used. When it came out, I didn't want to buy it brand new. <clears throat> Basically, I waited for a couple weeks, went on Amazon, and checked out how many stars it got out of four. And it was pretty much split down the middle. So I waited. I waited till the game went down to be buy it cheaper. Because, you know, I didn't want to fork out 60, 70, 80 bucks for a game that I was going to hate. So it took roughly about a year before the price went down. I found one used for about 15 bucks. Played it. Took roughly about, oh, about a week or so to beat. And uh, the story was kind of okay. If I had to give it any stars, I'd give it a two stars. The next one I picked up, used, was Dead or Alive 5 Last Round. Why I picked this up, I got it for a bargain. Dead or Alive. Uh, I guess it's because of the cool chicks, I guess. You get to see a lot of TNA in it if you really want to. But again, it was also some pretty cool characters I remember from the previous... Uh, Dead or Alive games, which I do have on PlayStation 2. I also have one of them on Dreamcast. If you can believe that, on friggin' Dreamcast. Um, picked it up again for about uh, 10 to $15. It doesn't come with any extras. And the game is kind of complicated. Again, you got to have those fast thumbs and trigger fingers, which, which I don't have. But I did manage to finish the game. I allowed you, Daniel, also to play this game, and he played it, and he actually did a lot better than I did. For this game, uh, two stars, three stars, four stars. I would give it a two star overall, but uh, I give it three for the characters. The characters were all really cool, which I thought were pretty cool. Um, so basically, it split down from the, down the middle. Again, I waited for a while before the game price went down because I read all the reviews. It was half and half again. A lot of people said it was a lot of TNA in it. A lot of people said it was uh, a lot of bloodshed. Well, not really bloodshed, but simulated bloodshed. But some of the cool characters came back from all the previous Dead or Alive games. So here we go. Dead or Alive. Uh, woo! Number five. Last round. Next game we're going to go to is Godzilla. Oh. We say they gotta go talk about Godzilla. Woo! Nicholas loved this game. And uh, he ground through this damn thing. 
we're talking about a lot, a lot of grind. A lot of Borg. He had to Borg out everything in this game. And I believe that he managed to get 90% of the trophies in this damn thing. This is truly a hard, hard game to uh, platinum on. And I believe Nicholas got the 90% out of this thing. I managed to get a couple of the trophies myself while I was playing it. But it was very, very hard. Um, I believe that he bought this for about $25. Um, out of Amazon, used. How many stars would I give it? Oh, because it's a Borg fest, because you just got to Borg your way through all the monsters. I would give it probably a three. Because a lot of old school monsters in it. A lot of old school monsters. The graphics were fantastic. They were fantastic. Oh my god. I mean, they looked really, really good compared to a lot of the other Godzilla games that's out there in Japan. But this was actually very, very good. I enjoyed it a lot. And it's rated for teens. And it doesn't have any other download content or whatever. Everything else. Um, we had a good time with it. Had a good time. It was, it was a pretty cool game. Well, now comes the last one. And this one goes out to Daniel. Bloodborne. Yep, the latest Bloodborne, or is it the second to last latest, I get. Oh, wow, there's still Until Dawn. Jeez, I just did a review on that. And uh, he played it on, oh, yeah, I even got this game I have to do a review on. Um, he came over, he put it in, popped it in to play it. A um, lot of online stuff. There was some raiders that came in and tried to kill him off. And I played the game myself, and I got kind of, sort of, eh, not even halfway through. But Daniel, he came over, and he played it, and he pretty much uh, kicked this game's ass. Um, I even checked on his trophy, uh, his trophy list later on for his own PlayStation 4. He managed to platinum this thing. This thing is a hard game to platinum, but he managed to do it. Uh, I thought the graphics were really cool. I thought the characters were pretty cool. The NPCs were really cool. Um, the weapons were really weird. Were really way, way out there. I mean, really cool stuff. And it says, hunt your nightmares. Ha <laughs> ha, it says, hunt your nightmares. Kind of like what we're going through now with the coronavirus. Freaking nightmare out there. So anyway, I managed to do five reviews of these games. Bloodborne being the last one. Okay, for Bloodborne, I don't know. Um, for me, personally, because it's too damn hard with too many fingers and stuff, I gave it a 2, but I believe Daniel gave it a 3 or even a 4. Godzilla, I gave it a 3 only because of the, a lot of the old school monsters in it. Um, this thing, basically, it kicked my ass because of, again, ouch. Dead or Alive, well, what, a 2 or a 3? A lot of TNA in it, a lot of cleavage and all that stuff but of course also a lot of the good old-fashioned old-school characters in it, the male and females so uh and managed to beat the game uh, daniel he came over and beat it as well uh wolvenstein i gave it a two why would i give it a two or did i give it a three in the pre in this video i can't even remember what the hell i gave it but i gave it something and believe it or not with this game um i originally put something in amazon about the feedback about it and a lot of these guys are doing a lot of the Heil Hitler stuffs, and I was basically called a troll for it. I don't know why. And, of course, this damn thing. I gave it a 2. I should have gave it a 1 because I just didn't get it. Maybe I'm just too stupid. Um, and the Nobunaga thing. Noban. God, I can't pronounce it. Nomagas, Ambition, Spear of Influence, Ascension. Boy, that's a mouthful and a half, isn't it? Anyway, that game, yeah! So here you go, Dead or Alive, Godzilla, Bloodborne. There, there's your five video games, there's your five, because you know, I didn't want to do a single video for each one of these damn games, because basically I'm not a video game uh, reviewer guy, and I get so much flack even for some of the other games I, I give feedback on on Amazon. And uh, with this video, this is Jeff Blackie, Doing the five 
PlayStation 4 video games. And all of them are old, by the way. Get with it, old man. Yeah, because I'm way behind the times. But I decided to do them just for shits and giggles. This is Jeff Blackie sitting in amongst the coronavirus pandemic playing video games stuck inside the house because I can't go out and do my martial arts or nothing else. I am here ready to say goodbye and have a hua day and uh, ah! <laughs>